What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new forecast. Today we've got a new host. Take it over from Alan. And it is the one, the only, Mr. Tuck. Hello. Today, we might be getting a wee spooky. You know what I mean? We've got to get a wee bit of spooky in here. Spookiness. Reacting to ghost caught on camera. I'm not, not to the alley, I'm, I'm not scared, right? These are Photoshop, right, Mr. Tuck? Like, these are 100% yeah, gonna be first. Like, Alright, let's get into the first video. Um, don't mind any. Which is. Ghosts and Demons. Okay. Right, when you get onto the video, um, Mr. Tuck, just don't play it until. Until, okay. So I'm on the video. Get to zero set until we play at the exact same time, okay? Right. Um, ghost it's a, caught on camera, yeah? No, ghost and demons caught on camera. That one, the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, be in it. All right. Are you ready? When you're on zero seconds, right? In three, two, one. Go, go. So for today's drink... What the hell? Sam, yo. <laughs> she went for it. She just started punching me. <laughs> what is that? Um, the baby saw. So, is that a baby? I mean, that's a baby. <laughs> that looks that like, like a demon for a second. Yo. Bro, look at that. That's just someone just rocking through the room. He's just like, hello. Hello, babies. That is yeah. creepy though. Yeah, that, to be fair, that's pretty creepy. You're just walking around in the nursery. Oh no, we got the woods. What? Car in the woods. It's snowing. I'm not going to want to miss any of this video because there are parts throughout the entire video that show. His voice, his, his mic is so beautiful. I can't isn't explain. It? He can't explain. Yeah. There's audio of. Noises from something. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> he just stuck his tongue out. Uh, what time are you on? I'm on the woods. What is that? No, what time? Um, one twenty-seven. Oh, I just want one one thirty-four. All right, stop for a second. I'm on one thirty-four. Go back to one thirty-four a second. All right, and then we can start again then. Right, I'm on 134. Right, three, two, one, go. Back over there. <clears throat> Do you hear that breathing? Yeah. Warning, do not proceed past the sign. The that used to be ahead. the trail right there. That's the trail that you're supposed to take. Looks like we have a lot of bones. Oh my god, I just realized them bones. I was like, are those bones? Look at them. Bloody Bro. That is actually so fascinating. And I know I people are going to say like, but that is fascinating. Deer. Maybe dino bones, eh? Yeah. Ripped apart. Looks like they're ripped apart pretty good. They do look like baby dino. So after seeing the bones and everything, we... Look at that mushroom. Decided to continue. Um, oh, yeah. to oh that cave, noise of water. Uh, Hozak's cave. Um, we had gotten permission What's in the to log? be able to actually fly a drone. Um, he's running. He's running. He's, he's, he's going. Away from any of the public areas. Like He'd be like, I'm cabin. going. Or maybe he's it's just being up there. And the sounds maybe. that you're going to hear next are. Oh, the signs. All right, we've got to be quiet bone then. Chilling. Now the sounds of the leaves rustling, that's us moving around trying to pinpoint the exact location where the sounds are coming from.
What? That's it. Wow. Um, that's creepy. It sounds like a dinosaur. Now at this point, I decided to take the drone up. I adjusted um, the settings on the camera to make the lights light and the darks really dark. Um, to try to get anything to stand out so the picture's not that pretty, but we're trying to pinpoint what's making these sounds, um, see if we could see anything at all. And uh, we actually do, and we're going to slow it down and show it a couple times. Whoa, you see that? And, uh, I don't know. You guys get yeah. Is that? I don't know. Something black. Oh, there's two. Yeah, you can see in the trees. Oh, there's two. I only oh. saw one at the start. As you can see yeah, same. here, um, clouds have really thickened up, and oh yeah, snows. Twenty-four challenge in their question mark. So hurry <laughs> up and try to land the drone so it doesn't get caught up in the snow because it's not waterproof. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna hike back to where we think we saw something, and see if we can't catch it on you know our actual cameras up close. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that Bigfoot? No. Oh. That looks like Bigfoot. And then snowing and everything. The forest just looks great, best. Oh, that is Bigfoot. That is Bigfoot. Look at it. That is yeah, Bigfoot. Is. Imagine it's just a man bowling around in the wild. He's just like taking a stroll, oh, having a walk. That does look like Bigfoot. No, that's the first ever sight, and I like truly believe that is Bigfoot. Someone strolling around, yeah. <laughs> Look, that's Bigfoot. Oh, his name is like leaning over. For some reason, this looks fake. This looks fake. Yeah, I mean, it could be just it could just be his friend. Is this just an elaborate hoax? Well, it could be real. You know what I mean? It does look real. With the streams and all and all. Yeah, I guess. Do you realize he's just standing in the snow right now? Yeah, he's just standing there like Bigfoot. Yeah, he could Bigfoot could come killing him at any time, and he's just like, I don't know. he's just standing. He's he's getting he wants Bigfoot to speak. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that that I think they're trying to say that is Bigfoot, huh? Yeah. But how is this a ghost or demon? That's what I'm trying to say. Bigfoot is not a ghost or demon. This video is called Ghost and Demons Caught on Camera. What is this? This isn't a ghost or demon. This is Bigfoot. And the whole flipping video is something to do with Bigfoot. Yeah. Alright, come on. Where's the next tip? This is actually getting a bit boring not at this point. Right, go on to the next video. No, wait, there's only a wee bit left. They might go on to something else. So about that. The noise of it, like, just racking and crushing is just so nice. Like, there's no. Oh, do you hear him walking on it? It's so nice. It's like, I. Yeah. Why did he fill in my leaf? 
Why is there? Why is he just zooming in on a picture of a leaf? Two tree leaves. Three. Wow, that is so cool. That's more exciting than big, but. All right, this is a hundred percent fake. Fake, but when stay around with a camera on for literally about five minutes, walking in the exact same. Should we still be here? Okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> should we still? The friend has the right knowledge. You should leave. You've got footage of Bigfoot. Now just leave. He's angry. Just flip and leave the forest. Yeah, this house. Yeah. Are they, what is on that tree? Is that tinfoil? Not front. Why is that tinfoil on the tree? <laughs> it's definitely fake. They would just fill. They would just fill the bit tinfoil on the tree. They're they're showing the exact same thing again. I feel. I don't know what these guys are doing. Like this is not the exact same thing. So we lost contact with whatever it is. We can't see it, can't hear it. What? Uh, they lost contact? Snowing. It just disappeared. Uh, it's starting to clear up a little bit. We were having How can it to see some um, wind, so we decided to leave. We went up to the famous Bigfoot Ridge, um, hopes to hear or see some. We didn't. Um, so I guess the <laughs> Bigfoot Ridge, yeah. Was this the Ohio Grassman? Was this Bigfoot? Or was this something completely different? If you have any stories about the Ohio Grass Man at Salt Fork, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. Um, if you have any thoughts or whatever what this could be, you know, again, let us know down in the comments. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll hear more about it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this with your friends and family. So, what have probably been Bigfoot here? If this is a Bigfoot thing. Oh! Bro, did you see that? Look at the all. Look at the thing. Look at the circuit. I see a cat. Look! Look at the stars. Look there! There! Oh! No, <laughs> yeah. oh, you can't go down the stairs, bro. I need to pull that story though. It just want. He just wants a bit of a. Uh, just like what, 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 what are you on? What I'm on eleven twenty-five. Uh eleven twenty-five? Yeah. I'm on eleven yeah. thirty. I'm five seconds ahead of you. Oh god. Uh, um I'll pause. Tell me when you get to eleven forty. Done. Right. <laughs> What's it doing? I don't know. My heart is actually being. Okay, we're gonna even see it. Yeah, we're gonna have to see it. Do you hear the cat? Uh, do you wanna do another video? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maybe she doesn't actually have a cat. Did you not hear, like, just screeching? So for today's. Did you not just hear screeching? At the screaming. end. Yeah. All right, we got another one, Mojo. Okay. Right, Mojo, let's get okay. let's get into it and pause it. Okay. At first, I thought it was a camera problem. Oh God, it's something to do with Insidious. Are you kidding me? At first, I thought it was a camera problem. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is movies. Oh, this is actually fun. Right, you ready? Oh, this is going to be a bit scary. Maybe this one. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go, go, go. At first, I thought it was a oh, I hate the incident. Well, I watched all of them, but they're just scary. Oh, no, oh, please no, again. please no. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Oh, fine. And today, we're counting down.
breaking down our picks for the top 10 creepiest ghosts caught on camera. Oh, maybe it's a movie. Is base of a famous ghost caught on camera? Whoa! Bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> she came back to pick up her print, and lo and behold, there was Abraham Lincoln standing behind her. He's got his hands on her shoulders. For this what? list, we'll be looking at mysterious figures that some Whoa. believe to be ghosts. Whether you believe these are the real deal or not, or this ghosts? imagery will give you the chills. Do you believe in ghosts? Let I us don't. know in the I comments. Don't. They're just, they're just um, Number 10, people who the just come to the William Hope. Life. William Hope was one of the first individuals to specialize in spirit photography, putting together a portfolio of otherworldly images. He even served as the founder and leader of the Crew Circle Spiritual. Everyone subscribe to watch some of Hope's spirit photos, photos were proven to be fake, and many believed that he was a fraud in general. Even so, Hope would give us some of the most iconic photos in all of ghost hunting. In a photo of Charles Tweedale and Do you see that wife, ghost? the spirit of her late father can allegedly yeah, be seen in the background. A similar photo supposedly reunited Mr. and Mrs. Gibson with their late son. Arguably the most famous what? photo Hope took was of Mrs. Hortense Leverson as her departed husband loomed over her. What? Number 9. Terrifying Terrier. Terrier. Losing a cherished pet is never easy, Do you although it wasn't just the owners who had to bid farewell <laughs> to this terrier. The bigger dog in this other photo, which was taken a few weeks after the loss, was the terrier's playmate. The terrier's death took a noticeable toll on the big dog, but huh? the pooch's little friend might have been closer than anyone thought. If you look closely at the photo, you can spot what looks like the terrier levitating over the big dog. Oh! Was this a photography trick, a similar looking dog, or was the terrier not ready to go to the big fire hydrant in the sky? In any case, the story was fascinating enough to make it into a 1939 issue of Life this is Magazine. Big, isn't it, Mr. Dog? Number 8, Geneva King. Do they miss me in Chicago? Uh, yes, um, um, at least a dozen people send their love. How gorgeous. Mr. Talk! They're absolutely in love. No you see his of tie. fire or freshness can challenge what a man will store up in his ghostly heart. His tie. That's one of Daisy Buchanan's or most memorable both. quotes in F. Scott Fitzgerald magnum opus, The Great Look Gatsby. It's widely believed that Daisy was inspired by socialite Geneva King, who was briefly involved with Fitzgerald during their youth. King passed away in 1980, but could the green light still be burning at the end of the dock? This photo taken by Christy Ranieri in 2018 seems to suggest so. Ranieri was outside King's old summer home in Lake Forest, Illinois, oh, really? where she captured this eerie image. Ranieri believes that the strange face in the photo is King's ghost, noting a haunting resemblance to the late heiress. So you were there all along. And every idea. Every decision. Of course, if anything is not to your liking, I'll change it. Number seven, the brown lady of Raynham Hall. Pause the only Mr. Talk. Yeah? What are you on? I'm on three minutes and 16 seconds. I'm on um, 3.25. What? 3.25. Okay, I'll, I'll go to 325 and the, you keep up pause, okay? Telling them this photo is its backstory. Okay. The ghostly figure is supposedly Lady Dorothy Walpole, the sister of Prime Minister Robert Walpole, and... Right, okay. Before we play, I'm on tree 25, but before we play, what the hell? Like, what do you think's gonna happen in the brown lady of Ray Nam Paul? I don't know. I think she's gonna be caught on camera or something. Well, it is caught on camera, but I mean, like, alright, you ready? Three, two, one, yeah. go. And the second wife of Charles Townsend. <laughs> As legend has it, Townsend learned that Dorothy had an affair with nobleman Thomas Wharton prior to their marriage. Holding a fake funeral for her, Townsend locked Dorothy up at Raynham Hall where she remained until her passing in 1726. While much of that story is based on rumors, this photography is all the proof some spiritualists need. Taken by Captain Hubert C. Provind in 1936, the photo supposedly shows Dorothy's ghost wandering down the stairs Whoa, of Raynham Hall. Whoa, that is so crazy! She's apparently wearing a brown dress, hence the nickname The Brown Lady. Number 6, Spectre of Newby Church. In 1963, Reverend Kenneth F. Lord snapped this photo inside that the Newby like Hall Church of Christ if you watch the Dr. Consoler. Hay. The church's beautiful architecture is largely outshined by a dark figure hanging Dr. out of the Hay, corner. Wearing what appears to be a hooded oh, robe no. and a white shroud, oh. the ghostly oh. figure came to be known as the newbie monk, 
as well as the specter of newbie the church. Monk. For some Professor people believe this to be a nine foot tall 16th century monk, others claim that it's merely a costumed accomplice standing on a box. It's also been theorized that the figure is a product of double exposure, which is when multiple images are placed over each other to create a single image. Although Never. a few photography experts would be beg to differ. Hopes. Number five, Ellen Hamill. We've all heard the stranger in the backseat urban legend, and this spine-chilling photo only gives you more reason to keep an Whoa, eye on the rearview mirror. In 1959, Mabel Chinnery took a photo of her husband in the driver's seat of their car. Chinnery's mother, Ellen Hamill, can supposedly be seen in the back seat. The thing is, Mrs. Hamill had died a week earlier, and the photo was taken shortly after visiting her grave. What's more, Chinnery's mother liked to what? sit in the exact spot whenever Mr. Chinnery drove her it around. It looks like me! Again, double exposure might be the obvious explanation for this alleged hitchhiking ghost. However, at least one photo expert believed it was genuine, according to Parade Magazine, which published the story. Number four, Freddie Jackson. At first glance, this photo of a Royal Air Force squadron might not seem like anything out of the ordinary. It stands out for two reasons, though. First, it was taken by Sir Victor Goddard, who fought in both world wars. Second, you can allegedly see the ghost of air mechanic Freddie Jackson in the background. Two days before the photo was taken in 1919, Jackson tragically died in an airplane propeller That's accident. That's the Most Those of the who knew are like Freddie people couldn't help but notice like his resemblance to the ghostly ago, face in the photo. Some like to think that Jackson was unaware of his passing and thus joined in the group pick. The photo was later published in 1975, and the exact nature behind it continues to baffle. Number 3. Lord Cumbermere In 1891, the second Viscount Cumbermere was laid to rest. If this photo is any indication, however, Lord Whoa. Cumbermere might have been absent Do from his own that, funeral. Michelle? Shortly before the yeah, funeral, the Lord chat. Cumbermere's sister-in-law, Sybil Corbet, arranged a camera at the Abbey Library and took an hour-long exposure. Cumbermere Abbey was four miles away from St. Margaret's Church where the funeral was being held. When the photo was developed, an apparition resembling Lord Cumbermere That's was found crazy. sitting in his favorite chair. The most logical explanation is that one of the staff members stayed behind and sat in the chair, although they were all apparently at the funeral. Perhaps Lord Cumbermere was taking a brief rest before moving on to the great beyond. Mama? Number two, the Amityville Ghost. Amityville Ronald Ghost. DeFeo Jr. was infamously responsible for the deaths of six family members in Whoa. 1974. Thirteen months after the murders people. took place, the DeFeo house was purchased by the Lutz family, who left after 28 days due to alleged paranormal activity. Forgive our sins. To this house. Oh no! All illness. Grant this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Are you saying this was a hook? Yeah. This would all provide the basis for the Amity <laughs> horror <laughs> books and house? films. But is the house truly haunted? Probably. Who better to find out than Ed and Lorraine Warren, two names you'll recognize from the Conjuring movies. Investigating the house a few weeks Whoa! after the Lutz family departed, the Warrens walked away with a photo of a bright-eyed little boy. There were apparently no children in the house, leading some to believe that this was the ghost of nine-year-old John Matthew DeFeo, Ronald's brother. Before we unveil our most ghostly number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Honorable the original mention. photo bomber. Who is that? Do you see that message? Ghost on the tulip staircase. Yeah. Ghost on the tulip staircase. Oh my god. Come play with us at the Stanley Hotel. Oh! Jason Griffith's grandfather, two months after he passed. Oh my god. Man in Black at Sefton Church. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Right, the last Number one, one on, Abraham on. Lincoln. Okay. Before there was William Hope, there was William Abraham H. Mumler, Lincoln. widely considered the first spirit photographer. Although many believed Mumler to be a fraud, this photo would forever engrave his name in the paranormal history books. Whoa! She came back to pick up her print, and lo and behold, oh. there was Abraham Lincoln standing behind her. He's got his hands on her shoulders. 
Mumler's subject is Mary Todd Lincoln, and the ghostly figure putting his hand on her shoulders is allegedly President Abraham Lincoln, who was, of course, assassinated in 1865. It's been said that this photo was taken in 1869, and Mumler didn't know until after it developed that Mrs. Lincoln had been in his presence. Another account claims that Mumler took it in the 1870s, and Mrs. Lincoln approached him under a pseudonym. As for the photo's legitimacy, maybe it's fake, but only Honest Abe himself would know for sure. Do you agree with our pick? Okay, Mr. Top, before we move on to the last video, what do you think of those? Those videos look like those have been totally scary! Scary! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're being, well, they've not been that scary, have they? Well, kind of somewhere. They're a wee bit. Imagine there was a ghost behind me having the hands on me. When I look back at the forecast. Oh, that gives me the yeah, chills. <laughs> now that gives me the chills. Alright, so we have got the final one, which is Ghost Cotton Camera. I'm going to watch the Hollyoaks trailer for the fun of it. Okay, tell, I'm in the video... Zero seconds, we'll play at the same time. Tell me when you're at zero seconds, okay? We can play at the same time. Ghost cotton camera paranormal videos filmed from across the world. Alright, are you on zero seconds, Mr. Top? Uh, yeah, it's just loaded now. Alright, three, two, one, go. Look at the door! Look at the door! Look at the door! Yo! Yo, yo, yo! No! Oh! Is that a love heart? That thing where it came from? It looks like a love heart. Oh! Oh! No, bro. Is that a knife that he just threw out? Oh, but that was a knife thrown straight at the door. That That's a flipping um, poltergeist. Playing with flipping knives? You need to get out of that house now. Oh, yo, tell me. Oh, we're again. Oh. What we got here? Woo! Look at that. Right. It's in slow motion. Just wants to say hi, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, not row ones. Hell no. Don't tell me someone's gonna come out the middle of the road. Yeah, someone's gonna come out the middle of the road. The house? Look at the house! Look at that black road. Bro. We girl looking out. Yeah, you the paint is moving. Oh my god, it's gonna smash. Oh no. What? It looks like it's carrying something. Doesn't it? Yeah. And it just disappears. Gonna, is that door open? <gasps> whoa, whoa! Did you see that, Mr. Tuck? Yeah. Pretty weird. It's not very usual. What the hell? <clears throat> What's up, Lenny? I 
I seen that. Look at the door. Someone's going for the door. Look at the back door. <laughs> door acting sussy. No, look at that. It just disappears. Whoa! And it's moving stuff. What? An alarm came off? And it's a ghost? Caralho, bicho, que que é isso, mano? Cuidado, Judá. What the hell? Cuidado, mano. Que que é isso, mano? Mano, não tem nada. Caralho, What the hell? que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. What's the end of Mr. Judá? Mano, que que é isso, bicho? The door's going haywire. Caralho, oh mano. my god, and there's people. Look at it! Vai, mano, vai, vai, mano. Shit! Vai, mano, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? The fuck pullers forced it there. They've got guns and everything. What the hell? Did you hear that screaming? Uh, I can't because my volume's all the way down. Because if I turn it all the way up, then it would just get too loud. Yeah. And it doesn't go to like a good volume. But I can see this stuff. Doctor's room. Do mm. Oh no. Surgery. Oh no, not surgery. Why is he going into surgery? Oh no, this is oh. What? Yo! Bedroom? She's sleeping? Who are the dogs? Is that Mickey Mouse? Oh my god, look at the window! Can you not see her face? Yeah, oh my god, that's like a clown. That's like a clown from Dead by Daylight. Uh, what? Are you talking about Mickey Mouse or no? Oh no, I'm talking about the clown in the background. What? Do you see that? That's a clown. I think that might just be like someone's reflection. Like in the TV. Maybe. Whoa, look at that. Videos, I believe, because you can't Photoshop videos, you know what I mean? Yeah. But photos, like, you don't know. Like, they could be Photoshop. But videos, though, you cannot Photoshop, so. No mind. Unless you do one frame per second, which is. Hard to do. Do you want to do Roswell and Area 51 truth reveal? Okay, we're not watching the truth about Area 51. Maybe another day. Do you want. Guys! We have to talk the next forecast. We have to do the truth about aliens. We have to. We have to get into more paranormal activity because it's getting close to Halloween. Okay, the last one we're going to watch is the Hollyoaks trailer, okay? Official Hollyoaks New Year trailer at the end of the thing. I'm just trying I don't, to... I don't like Hollyoaks. It's a two-minute video, and I'm, I heard there's a ghost in it, so... Okay. And then we'll finish off the forecast, right? Tell me when you're in zero seconds, okay? Ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. Break.
Today is going to go smooth as soon. I know things have not been easy recently. Something's got to change. So I've decided, me, you, Bobby and Cher, it's about time that we all live together, the proper family. The doubts that you're having about my sister, is it just a wobble or you need to tell her today, Silver? Or I will. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first D Valley Hero Fundraiser. The whole community are all going to be congregating in one spot. All prepped, primed and ready to wear our message. Mommy is not going to know what's it her. There he is, the man Thank of you. the moment. Yeah, Granddad's going to get his kidney, or well, I mean, my kidney. So it will be over soon, because today we're going to bring down Lisa's murderer. You killed Lisa, so it's time to pay for what you did, Toby. Excuse me, what are you doing in our van? Is he off his head or something? So, whoever is in there has got nothing to do with us, so we're just leaving to it, yeah? Oh. No, they won't bury the body! Off. There's a reason that they call us Deadly Sheen, right? Like, initially, it's not exactly this reason. Dad, you're just out of prison. For a crime I didn't commit. What about all the ones you did? Why is this thing going to be different? I fell in love with you, not in spite of who you are, because of who you are. I'm going to propose to Perry. Oh, amazing! That's amazing! If Julia asks me and I say no, that kind of thing can ruin a relationship, and I don't want to do that. father to our baby. I can't trust you. I'm paranoid that she's cheating on me. She swore she would never do it again. Yeah, and she won't. Oh, wow. <laughs> I finally have what I've always needed. A mom, my dad, a woman who loves me, who makes me so happy. And I don't deserve any of it. This makes me so happy. Please, Warren, don't mess it up. <laughs> Someone found out about what I did to Bobby by stealing my notes from my prison therapy session and now they want revenge. I declare D Valley Hero Fundraiser. Come on! Turn on YouTube. I am excited. Oh! Ethan is about to learn that he is messing with the wrong cleaners. What is going on with you, Dan? I need to know. Dad's left you. Don't want to get married. I know. And you stole. You see this, Mr. Cup? For revenge, didn't you? Revenge yeah. for what? For Brody. This hero. I wish it was me, but it isn't. I need to tell you the truth. Mr. Cup? I can't keep lying. Oh! Oh my god! Pending death to make bad decisions. Feelings! You can't go in there! I have to, my wife and kids are in there! Yeah? I don't think we can deal with what did you just say? I bet you wish you said just to marry me now. <laughs> oh! Yes! <laughs> did you see Silver in there? Would Daddy in there? Bobby, please tell what? people where I am quickly! Bro, that evil look, bro! Okay, that should be it. Um, so Mr. Top. It's time to end the podcast. No. Well, guys, we reacted to ghost videos caught on camera, guys. Thank you so much for watching this <coughs> forecast. Tomorrow, me and Mr. Top will be recording a new forecast. And just say, uh, just say, uh, guys. Um, what did I say we were going to do? Aliens, right? The yeah, the UFOs. The truth about, about Yeah, the truth about Area 51. Okay. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this forecast. This is Mr. Talk is the new host, guys. So, welcome, Mr. Talk to Forecast. Hopefully, it all goes well. Um, next time, Mr. Talk is going to have a face cam. Guys, thank you so much for watching this forecast. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button and smash the little bell. It helps out the channel a lot. So, guys, say it with me, Mr. Top. Goodbye, forecast viewers. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. So, Mr. Top.